Hey folks, so this video is kind of a case in point. So this is using my uh, Anger Point Tauros team, uh, first in a random Wi-Fi battle and then in a 6 on 6 battle, and here I'm showing you basically the flaws in this team. So first off, this is a random Wi-Fi battle where I decided I was not going to use uh, I was not going to use Anger Point Tauros, nor was I going to use my Frost Lass. I was going to use the other four Pokemon just to see how the rest of the team would do. Kind of test out my plan B. So my plan B is that I've got a Belly Drum Poliwhirl, uh, coupled with either Gardevoir or a number of other Pokemon. But Gardevoir is a great bet because it can use Heal Pulse to get Poliwhirl basically back up to full HP. So my opponent is using, is using a very standard BGC team, Zapdos, Metagross, two Pokemon that you've seen in BGC, kind of in every single BGC that there's been. Um, but anyway, I get off my Belly Drum, get off my Heal Pulse, and Poliwhirl is going to be up to full HP, and so far everything's going pretty well. Um, his whatchamacallit, his uh, Metagross goes for the Meteor Mash, which is going to hit the Gardevoir, but it survives a decent chunk of HP. Um, I really wish that Zapdos was not behind the sub, because that's going to make it harder to kill, but I figure, eh, whatever, it's all good. I call Gardevoir back, and I go ahead and send out Spiritomb with the idea that I can uh, use Psych Up to get Poliwhirl's um, plus 6 attack raises, and Spiritomb carries the priority um, Shadow Sneak, so that's excellent. Uh, Spiritomb is definitely going to get switched out for, whatchamacallit, for Sableye as soon as I actually get a Dream World Sableye, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet, I haven't found a female with Dream World Sableye in the Dream World yet. Anyway, Thunder is going to one-hit KO Poliwhirl, boosted its, accur its accuracy boosted thanks to that um, Poly Toad, and so here you see my strategy kind of fall apart. So Spiritomb's now got nothing to do, uh, Valkorona is now going to get switched out because it's, here's my plan C, uh, Volcarona can go ahead and go for a Quiver Dance, Spiritomb can copy those stat changes, and they can both hit specially with boosted uh, attack power and speed, excuse me, and speed, and defense, or special defense at least. Um, but I, it's not gonna happen that way, uh, his... Uh, because I'm just not going to be able to get off um, my moves that quickly. Volcarona takes that skull like it was nothing. I mean, like it wasn't boosted by rain and stab, and it was weak to it. Volcarona is kind of amazingly bulky. It runs a Focus Sash, uh, and actually has uh, Rage Powder, which is the bug equivalent of Follow Me, uh, but I just didn't get a chance to use it in this battle, and it really wasn't that big a deal. So Volcarona goes ahead and uses Bug Buzz, I'm just going to try to take out that poly, uh, poly Toad. It's actually going to take that hit quite well. It explains why Skull didn't want to hit Kaomi. It's obviously a defensive set, uh, because he's going to want to keep the rain up for as long as possible. Anyway, Thunder is going to take out my Spiritomb. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, Spiritomb is going to survive with 2 HP. Skull is going to take out Spiritomb. Kind of interesting that he's not seeing my Volcarona as a huge threat, even though most people do. But, you know, it is in the rain, so he knows that I can't use uh, whatever fire-type move I've got for you know, any more than just a little sliver of damage. I go ahead and send out Gardevoir, but I believe this is the last turn of the battle. Yeah, so this is actually interesting. Uh, I Trace and Doubles used to trace a random ability of your opponent, but it appears that it now traces the ability of the Pokémon that's directly across from you, which is actually nice because now you can control Trace, and now it's not as useless of an ability. So Thunder is going to take out Gardevoir, and I believe Scald is going to take out Volcarona, and I'm not going to get a single kill this match, so I've been swept 4 or 0-4. So, again, I'm just showing you this team is not unbeatable if you can get around Tauros Anger Point. But yeah, so that's that's that, and now I'm going to show you a 6-on-6 six six battle. My opponent was... Um, God, I can't remember his name. It's going to be in the annotations. Uh, actually, I'm going to look it up right now. Uh, this is kind of funny. Oh yeah, so my opponent is Ian Warhead. He PM'd me saying, hey, I've got a team that I think can beat your team. And so, again, I'm not going to lead off with my usual combo because he'd seen the usual combo, and I'd seen what he was going for, and I didn't want... Uh, you know, to lose the battle right off the bat. So he's leading off with a uh, Weavile. He had a ton of Pokemon that parry priority, so I just didn't want you know, to be completely screwed over by that. So Portia is, you know, is immune to Fake Out, and that's excellent. And Lily, I don't think 
you know, he bothered faking it out. He actually leads with his own Volcarona. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead, and, uh, my opponent's gonna go ahead and go for the Quiver Dance. I'm pretty sure I just go for the Bug Buzz this first turn. Uh, yeah, so he gets off the uh, attack raise, and I think I figure I can actually have Portia use Psych Up on um, my opponent's Volcarona, and it's just as good. So I go for the Bug Buzz here, and obviously he's sashed, and so he's going to survive. And really, I probably should have gone for the uh, Shadow Sneak this turn. I don't know why I went for the Nasty Plot, especially considering I'm pretty sure when you use Psych Up, it doesn't stack. I'm pretty sure that, you know me doing the Nasty Plot and then doing a Psych Up on my opponent, I'm pretty sure that that Nasty Plot is then wiped clean. Um, but I'm not actually 100% sure, that's probably something I should look up. So I'm gonna go for the- no, my opponent's gonna go for the Heat Wave here, get a crit on Lily, Portia is going to survive but with barely any HP, and my Volcarona is down, and he's got another priority user out, so this really is not looking good for me. Uh, I do get uh, manage to get off the Psych Up, but it's going to be really, 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 really nice when that's a Sableye who carries priority, you know, Prankster is going to give Psych Up priority, and that's just going to be really nice. So I go ahead and send out my Gardevoir, uh, just to try to get Portia's health back up, I figure. I also trace Flame Body, which will be nice, because if he goes for the Fake Out, which he does, I'm hoping that he'll get burned, um, but unfortunately he does not. This is actually uh, going into the realm of hacks, because He's used priority moves against. He's used physical moves against um, my flame body Pokemon twice now, and neither of them have gotten burned. The odds of that happening are only 49%, I believe. Yeah, it's 70% times 70% is 49%. So yeah, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I go ahead and send out Tauros here, and had his Volcarona not gotten off uh, Quiver Dance, I would have been faster. I would have been able to take him out um, using my, using uh, Rock Slide, even without any boost, considering he has 4x weak to it. But so, as it is, he's going to take out both my Pokemon in one hit, and he's proceeding to 6-0 Sweep Me. Um, next out for me is, I believe, my last Pokemon's Negoroshka, uh, which translates is Russian for Snow Maiden. Oh no, I've got two Pokemon left, but I really don't see Raymond doing anything. Uh, and he is indeed weak to that Psychic. Wait, is he weak to Psychic? I'm pretty sure he's part Fighting type. No, he's not part Fighting type. Only Poliwrath is. Yeah, and I'm running Poliwhirl rather than Poliwrath because Poliwhirl is actually faster, and with Eviola, he's definitely going to be bulkier. And, you know, after Belly Drum, plus six attack is going to be amazing, whether it's Poliwhirl or Poliwrath. And survivability is more important than attacking power. Anyway, Heat Wave is not actually going... Is it going to take out Snagorochka? Yes, it is. So that is the end of the battle. And as you saw, this team is not at all unbeatable. It's just you got to be prepared for it. Um, in the future, I'm going to be handling how I accept challenges for my doubles teams a little bit differently. Basically, if you really want to be prepared, you got to be able to face both of my doubles teams. But anyway, uh, that's all for the future. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, folks. So long.